guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a quick blending technique using charcoal for beginners. So this is willow charcoal and this is something that you will start a base. And then we use something very simple which is toilet tissue or kitchen roll. And kitchen roll is great because you can just blend very smoothly. And then you have a couple of different erasers. Plastic eraser which you'll recognize from school. And you're going to use a craft knife to cut this into sharp pieces. This will help you create details, really thin details. So that's what we use the plastic eraser for. And that will rub off things very cleanly. If you make any mistake, you can just use your tissue to rub things away. And you have this smooth, silky background again. And this is called a putty eraser. The putty eraser is for rubbing out soft areas, like if you're drawing like skin or something that's really delicate, you can change the shape of it so you can make all different kinds of shapes. Okay, you see like this is very soft, these little lines, because sometimes the plastic one takes things off too sharply and it's too white. So it really helps you control like the tone of the charcoal, whether you want it medium or really white or darker. And then we have a paintbrush. I like to use these like size 10 brushes and always flat brushes because when they're flat, you can press them flat on the paper and you can push the charcoal into different directions. So it's really helpful for blending things like little details right up to the line you can make really really tiny little details when you can't get your finger into a certain area like it's really helpful to make something really uh, thin and detailed so that's just an example and the other thing that the paintbrush is great for is rubbing your image away like if you've made a mistake or if you want to soften something that you've shaded you can just move the charcoal with the brush. So it has a little bit of a different blending um, style than the tissue. And the next blending tool we have is a blending stick, which does a similar thing to the tissue paintbrush, but as you can imagine, you know, it's shaped like a pencil, so it's a little bit easier to control. It helps you get small details correct. And this is almost jumping ahead a little bit, but when you want to make darker details, you have like different kinds of charcoal pencils um, or black pastels, which are soft and they, they can give you your really dark details. So when you use these pencils, what happens sometimes is that they're grainy. I don't know if you can see that, but you get little white marks. Especially if you're shading like a larger area, you have lots of white little dots in there. So blending sticks are really helpful because they take those white marks away. But it's still nice and dark. So this is when you start shading dark details in your pictures, whatever it is that you're drawing. Blending sticks are, oops, blending sticks will help you make something really smooth and soft like in a detailed way. And after that, we have a couple of key things that we normally use for charcoal drawing, which is uh, a white pastel and a black pastel. There are a couple different types of charcoal called um, compressed charcoal and conte, but I just find that black pastels are the best because they're softer and they can, they can go from any range of darkness, like really, really dark, right up to light. I don't think you need other kinds. I can talk about that more in a different video. But they're really, really soft and they can really give you black, black areas. And then I'm just, of course, showing you a little bit when you use the eraser on them, you can get all different variations of tone. And then when you're finishing up a drawing, if you have like a, a really white area that you want to create and the eraser doesn't go as white as you want, you can add a white pastel on top and that will get it even whiter. But you don't want to use white pastels on top of charcoal because it will just make it grey and you get this kind of muddy effect. So those are your basic blending starting techniques and after that we can show you how to draw something with them.